I'm confused on why I would be punished for something I, you know, I had nothing to do with it. Wellington Benjamin's punishment is having to make payments on a car he can't drive because, unknown to him, the Challenger he bought had a rap sheet. Hertz reported the car stolen uh, from their lot in Florida, and Kia purchased a car from Hertz. But at the time, the car was still on hot hold in Florida, and Kia still purchased the car some kind of way. The Kia dealership purchased the vehicle at a car auction. They do that on purpose. One of the reasons they buy vehicles at auction is so they don't know anything about the car's history. And right. that way they can pass that ignorance along to you. Attorney Steve Leto says dealers shop auctions to add eye candy to their inventory. But because the used market moves vehicles so quickly, it's not uncommon for a car with a cloudy title to slip through the system, leaving consumers like Wellington to untangle the details. The second he brought that to their attention, they should have taken steps because it's easier for them to clarify it than it is for him. But that's not what happened. Wellington says the dealership did nothing to help him clear the title. Months passed. Months. I had to keep on reaching out to them, trying to tell them what was going on, but they kept on coming back with no solution. Did they ever reach out to you? No. That's when inside investigations got involved. We're speaking with Kia General Manager Jerry Howell. I really don't understand what, what this is all about. Hey, Jerry, it, it's about your customer not having the legal right to drive a car for three months and it seems as though you guys are putting the burden on him to fix this problem when he shouldn't be the one that has to fix the problem. No, we're asking him to assist us in fixing the problem. We're not putting any burden off on anyone. But unfortunately, I have to have the car. Jerry says he's willing to work with Wellington, but Wellington would need to return to the dealership with his car and leave any attitude at the door. I don't need him to bring the car out here with an attitude or anything else. He's saying, I'm going to have an attitude. I mean, wouldn't anybody be upset driving a car that's reported stolen for months? Our investigative team accompanied Wellington when he went back to Kia to surrender the car to police for the second time in less than a month. As the general manager looks on, a deputy inspects and verifies the vehicle's VIN number, first on the dash and later under the hood. Personally, I can't tell you all what to do. Me personally, I would not take the car. Any kind of etching off is no good. And that plate right there, that front plate is not supposed to be on it. Yeah. I don't know who's okay. removed the plate or whatever, but that is not the original plate that came with the car. After running the VIN number through a law enforcement database, the deputy confirmed the hot hold status, then impounded the vehicle. Wellington's vehicle was held over a three-day weekend. The dealership didn't offer to put him in a loaner or even give him a lift home. They didn't offer me anything and just for all the hassle that I've been through. They just said, well, it's fixed now and you can go ahead about today. How about an apology? Not even that. That doesn't seem to be consistent with the no-hassle customer pledge we found on the dealership's website, which says the staff is here to make your car buying experience the most pleasant experience you've ever had. We decided it was time to stop in and ask about Wellington. We're here on behalf of Mr. Benjamin because he couldn't get a response from your dealership. You can go to the corporate office and call somebody and set up an appointment. Well, we tried to get an interview with uh, Kate Eakes as well as... Can you please stop recording? Is there somebody in charge of customer service we can speak with? No. There's um, not. Can you please stop recording? He's not going to stop recording. Okay, then can you please leave? Well, sure leave. Thank you so much. The Kia dealership in Union City and their parent company, Atlanta Luxury Motors, did not get back to us or Wellington. Since they refused to make it right for their customer, Inside Investigations decided to take the lead. Inside Investigations wants you to feel better about your experience and where things are now, so we decided to make a car payment for you. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. Wow, I appreciate that. It's a very small token yeah. uh, to make up for the trouble that you've gone through. Thank you. Thank you so much.